Pennsylvania. We are in you. And it's just miserable. So far. Please turn this around. Welcome to Total Taco. I almost said Talking Taco. That I guess works too. We're Talking Tacos. Cool. Uh, this was, it was definitely taken already, so don't yell at us for copyright. We are It was an accident. He is having a. He's having We're a moment. having an night. existential crisis. I'm in Eastern Pennsylvania. They don't sell beer at gas stations. We had to find a beer store. It took us an hour and 25 minutes to find gas, beer, tacos, and wings. Awful. But we have beer. We have gas. We'll have more gas after these tacos, probably. <laughs> and we have tacos. The wings were already dead in the water. So, today, you've joined us here to watch us eat some tacos in a hotel room in Reading, Pennsylvania from... Casa de Cortez, or whatever the fuck it is, we'll update it on the actual name of the episode itself. Uh, something we've done in the past, uh, we have El Pastor, also something new called a Tinga Taco. Do you remember to watch uh, it? Yes, I do actually. It is a shredded chicken and a tomato chipotle sauce. Ooh. I might be frustrated, I might be drinking kneeling because we're in Pennsylvania and why the fuck not, but uh... I remember. And Pepper I have a canned margarita. Pepperidge Farms remembers. Uh, what I want to remind all of you, the viewers, the fun thing here, this is the first time so far, unless you did in Nashville and didn't announce it, that they've given us radishes and lime. No, they did not give us that in Nashville. So radish and lime equally distributed across the three. Well, that's a lie. He took the radishes. I don't want radishes. Yes, well, that is a very juicy lime. I'll take my own napkin. Yeah, he stole mine earlier. You guys messed up. Maybe it'll be on the outtakes. <laughs> uh, what do we want to start with? Let's start with... I don't know. Try a new taste? Yeah. Go ahead and grab your uh, Tinga taco. Ooh, they're double shelled. That's how you know they're messy. They're a squirter. Um, Lord. <laughs> to some more fun tacos. Hey, we've already beaten uh, Spread Those Wings. We've gone out of town back to back weeks. Oh my god. That's tasty. Mm. It's got that smoky chipotle flavor. This isn't Cajun at all. of you that are watching the show and have never had a taco with a radish on it, just like you may be against trying taco with pineapple on it, I advise you to do it. All right, I'll steal your little one for my next taco. It's it one bite. It's just how Lloyd, we talked about Lloyd two episodes ago, how they added the cabbage to give you that crunch. That's really what the radish does. Okay. It doesn't, there's no distinguished flavor to the radish. It doesn't throw anything off kilter, but it gives you that, that nice that texture that crunch like a lettuce would give you? Or, say you are getting a Taco Bell and you put the little crunch strips in it. Mm. That's just doing that without putting a flavored salty strip in it. True, true. Um, I'll start us off. Oh, perfect. How do we do this again? Uh, Taste. Are we doing this right? I Taste. don't think we are. I'll give it a four. Rather impressed. Um, would have liked a little bit more stand out from the Chipotle, but right. still rather good. Um, size, size, I'm gonna go three and a half. Um, the shells are very full. They are very packed in there, but the shells are not that large mm -hmm. themselves. Um, uniqueness, this I'm gonna give it a four or five. I've never heard of this. No. I'm very impressed by it. And price, um, it was two fifty a taco. Not bad. So I'm gonna come in with four again on that. Uh, I'll grade it at an even eighty. Pretty impressed on that. I feel like that's one of your higher ones. I, I, I like chicken. Mm. All right, my turn. Yeah. Um, taste. Um, I'm gonna go with a four. I thought it was very tasty. It did. It was missing a little like something, the little extra zhuzh. 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 Um. Size, like Kyle said, there were they were full, 
but the shells were kind of small. I will give them a little bit of credit for like the double shells because I feel like it, it, you feel like you're eating more because there's more shell, but I'm going to go three five. As I think that's what you did as well. Weird. So the double shell to me, I think it's just an ingenious thing. Yes, you're saving because you're going to get fuller, but you, the consumer, are going to feel more full after eating that, but I think that's a, that's a mind trick. I think they're doing that in case that bottom shell crumbles and isn't true. as messy. That's true. That, I do appreciate <laughs> that. God, it's the chef. <laughs> Uniqueness, I'm going to do... I'm going to do a 3-5. It's unique. I've definitely never had it before, but there really wasn't anything extra. It's chicken, the what, chipotle uh, sauce. Tomato, tomato and chipotle, chipotle sauce. Chipotle sauce, and then like some herbs and maybe a couple of onions. So I feel like they maybe could have put a little extra or something. 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 But Side. they did also give you radish and, and That's true. lime. Price, I'm gonna go four or five because that is a smacking good deal for a taco. 77.5. Love it. I mean, it's no Tory grades 100, but. I mean, we see you, Nashville. Velvet taco, it's a euphemism. Oh my god. I wasn't on the show to be able to point it out, and it went right over the, the Nashville native's head. Maybe he just didn't want to spoil it for us. Oh, son of a bitch. We didn't. Wait, we don't know if we like this. Dip your finger in it. They gave us what they call red I'm sauce, but it's yellow. Just trying. I'm just. I'm going. No fucks given. Oh, that actually is really tasty. <laughs> it's got a kick to it. <clears throat> Whatever it is. They said red or green. I picked red. But again, it's not red. Oh, go figure. You chose red. <laughs> Shut up. Guys, get it. I have red hair. You can just go in. We don't have to toast on the second. Oh, keep it going, El Pastor. It's mm. missing something. Moisture. No. I'm being completely serious on that. That's like not supposed to be a sexual one, you know. The very first thing, as soon as I've been to that, any other time I've had a very good El Pastor, it is, it's very moist. It has juices to that, and the, those juices are supposed to collect your flavor with it. Yeah. The fact that they're so dry, you got your two flavors. Ish. But th that's it. They were there. They weren't prominent. They weren't. They weren't bold. They weren't standing out. Hmm. Where did we have the first one? Um, La Davina? No. No, we have not done Davina yet. Where was the first one? Uh, Ranchito three. So Ranchito and I had it in Nashville. This is. Is that unfair? Of me to, the dick? Is that unfair of me to compare it to others? No, I, I don't think it is because that's it's like comparing chicken wings. A medium's a medium, a medium is medium. It's and Al Pastor already does their own take, but you you come to expect like at least a, a base level. Yes. Tell us though. Uh, I'm not impressed. Like I'm actually sadly disappointed. Grading. Taste. This, this saddens me. I'm going to do a 2.5. Like, it was dry. I didn't really get the pineapple. I got sweet, but I didn't get pineapple. The other Al Pastors they had had, like, a spice to it. This was, like, it was, what is, this is pork, right? Yeah, it was it's, just, and it's supposed to be marinated pork. It yeah. should be juicy. It should have that, that, the juju. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking nisky. Um, size, I'm going to go 3.5. It's about the same size. Um, again, smaller shells, but they're full. Uniqueness. See, that's where it's hard because, like, the Guys, these tacos were such a crime, the cops are coming. The concept is there. Like, the concept of the El Pastor is, I think, very unique. So I'll give it a 3-5. Because the concept is unique. Their execution just wasn't there. Well, the thing is, too, like, they spun something different. Usually you get it, you get pineapple pork. There's some garnish in there, there's some onion, so there's a little bit different stuff than you usually but it just, get. But, like, like, it didn't give it any extra. Price, even though it was cheap, I can't say that I would buy that again. I think I'd go three. That's sad. That makes 62. me so 5. sad. Um, so here's the thing. I'm gonna go with a with a four on taste. Okay. I still got a little pineapple. Yes, it was missing. I enjoy El Pastor, but there's a way, reason I'm going with four here. Tell Size me. is gonna be three point five again. 
Nothing special. Uniqueness is where I'm going to go with a two. Okay, so you're up. I'm going. The, I'm just, I'm flip flopping this here. They pretty much found Grandma's recipe of Al Pastor. Did nothing special. Did not make sure there was anything liquidy with it. Did not do anything to preserve the taste. They know everything's okay. in there to make the taste. They didn't do anything with a wow factor. I can see where you're coming from. Um, I didn't do that correct at all. Eat it for. Um, I'm gonna agree with you on that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go three on the price as well. Like I'm kind of bummed. I don't think I'd pay for that again. Um, I'll meet you at 62 and a half. Um, just flap those two numbers, I feel like. Yeah. Our views on it is different. It's just, we, we both, we're not satisfied with how we got there. We both think it's different results of what got us here. Reading Pennsylvania, man, you let us down. You did a little bit. Your wings are worthless, your tacos are mediocre. Well, I mean, that first taco was pretty damn good, but like, what the fuck, guys? Come on. Do better. Well, maybe, nah, we probably won't go back. No, <laughs> I have no intention. We're a hope for two on my favorite food groups. I don't plan on being back here. No, and we had to chase down beer. Awful. Yeah, if you know us, you know that's a fucking feat. Guys, I think that'll about do it though. Anything else you want to put over before we jump off the air? We're going to a good concert tonight. Right across the street, so walking distance. We're getting shwasty. Uh, shout out to Kyle Chicken Nippin. Uh, we'll see probably, him in a couple weeks. Probably should have brought him down here. I'll see him in a couple weeks. We'll be able to uh, golf, just do some general fuckery. And we'll be at Wing Fest. I know this is a taco show, but if you like chicken wings, check it out. September 3rd and 4th. I'll out be at there. Highmark Stadium. You might actually be there both days. Who knows? Uh, out at Highmark Stadium. Home of Buffalo Bills. Also, what'd you sign up for, Kyle? I didn't get confirmation on that. They uh, didn't tell me I was accepted yet. But I did sign up to try to get into the amateur wing contest. Um, we'll keep you updated if he does get in. For sure. We need support and love. Yeah. I'm, I, <laughs> help me, I'm poor. Bring us home. Did you not get that joke? I did. Oh, well, thanks for not laughing at me. I did laugh! Guys, my wife doesn't think I'm funny. I'm stuck in a city <laughs> with shitty food. And until next time, we will taco to you later. Thank you.